I want to put my PC onto my TV. How do I do this? Anybody? Does anybody have any suggestions on how I can get what's on my PC on my TV? And I like to do it through my router. I like it wireless as well. Maybe 802.11G. That's what I like. Oh, 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 right. It's right here. PC on TV. The uh, media lounge from D-Link. Right here it is, what I just described. And uh, you know what else is cool? They've given us a remote as well. Now here's the way this works. You plug this up by your TV. It uh, goes through the router and says like, oh, hi, Mr. Router. I'm a wireless device too. And the router goes, oh, hi, it's PC on TV. I know you. Well, now we've been introduced. And then from then, you can pick which uh, computer you want. If you've got a laptop upstairs in the bedroom, you have a desktop downstairs, a gaming PC in the den, the gaming room, wherever you have it, uh, you can pick which, TV, which uh, PC you want and then uh, put it on the TV screen that this is hooked up to. Also with the remote here, so that you can have full control in the center there, that's a trackball. That's the highlight of the remote for me now. It's pretty much a standard remote. Uh, I've got some controls for, uh, for the internet and all that. So we can do all that right there. Access uh, different different parts of video photo. Yes, we have lots of different things we can do down here. And the trackball. And this is also a click. Yes, watch it click. So that's cool. Uh, and the remote also has a spot right here we can hold it. Double barrel. Let's look at the back of the unit because there's a lot of different ways we can hook up things. And uh, only not only can you do 802.11G wireless, but you can also uh, do wired, you know, whichever one you like. If it's uh, in the other room, we can do that. Start down here at the bottom. I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see. This also comes off if you wanna lay it flat as part of your uh, media center. We can do that. A uh, power cord, nice to have a reset button in case something goes wrong. Uh, there, this goes to the router, that's your ethernet port. VGA port, if you have a newer LCD or plasma and you want to use the VGA as an option, you do get uh, very high resolution video through the VGA. We have component, and then we have uh, composite audio video. Now in the box, they've included that cable because it's not quite as common as most of the other cables. The uh, composite audio video cable, on one side it's the smaller uh, jack, and then the other one is the standard RCA jacks on, that'll go into your computer, I mean into your uh, TV just like that. So very simple there. Most of you have a, a VGA plug laying around, so that's no big deal. And they've also included the uh, Ethernet cable. So they've got that in the box as well. Everything you need is included. And like I said, if you're using the, uh, the wire connection, you can just unscrew this and take it off. But if you want to put this on your uh, entertainment center, you can lay it down flat like this. Put the antenna any way you like. All right, now, so you, maybe you uh, don't want to lay it flat, like so. You don't want to lay it flat. Maybe you don't want to put it in its uh, base. Well, you got another option here. You can mount it on the wall, just like that. So just smack it on the wall. And the antenna needs to go up. There we go. That looks pretty. You know what? Maybe it's over that way. It's kind of cool. Straighten up. There we go. I'm having a little bit too much fun here. Uh, very simple device, really, but let's talk about what we can do with this. Now, if you're hanging out with a bunch of friends, it's a lot more fun to hang out around the uh, TV and watch all the videos on YouTube. And with this, since you have full access to your PC, well, you can watch everything on YouTube from your couch. Just chill right there, open it up, move the trackball around, access the internet, you know, you've got all the buttons right here. And there's even a screensaver button right up there on the top if you want to go right into that. So you have a screensaver playing on your uh, TV set. That's cool as well. Now, if you have Media Center or something like that, well, you can access the TV that's on your computer through the computer back to your TV. I think I just made something convoluted, but you can do that if you want to. Another really cool thing. With a lot of these devices out there, uh, they do the decoding for whatever video files on board. So if you've got an AVI or an M2V or you've got an MKV file or what's another one, M.269 or uh, whatever file you've got, if it doesn't, if, you know, if the device doesn't support it, then you run into trouble. Well, this one, it doesn't matter what format it is. It doesn't matter if it's a new format that just came out because it's actually viewing the file on your computer. The, the actual viewing is not done here. This is just taking whatever's on your computer and throwing it on your TV screen. So whatever format you have, as long as the Kodak is installed on your computer, you're gonna be able to see it just fine with that unit. And that's selling point for me right there, that's it. Because now every video file that I have is supported by this by default and every new file that comes out, whether there's a new compression uh, method or whatever, as long as I've got the Kodak and it's installed on my computer, we're watching it right here on this device. Man, I wish I thought of this like a year ago. I wanted one of these. Well, this, has this been out for more than a year? It's pretty new, right? It's pretty new, but I think everyone should have one. Everyone should have 
uh, one of these D-Link Media Lounge PC on TV devices. I'll see you next time. For more information on this D-Link PC on TV device, go to CompUSA.com and type D700-2348 into the search box. Or call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.